G'day everyone, Jai Munji here, and of course I am back with another Lord of the Lost reaction. Uh, now that Eurovision is all said and done, I am so proud of these guys. I, it's probably not the position they wanted to come in in the competition, but they got to show their music to the world. They got to show really heavy metal to the world as well. I don't know if that has really clicked with a lot of people yet who watch a lot of Lost at Eurovision, because I know in Europe metal is seen a bit more... I wouldn't say mainstream, but it's a bit more accepted uh, compared to other countries. Australia, like stuff like that just doesn't get played. You have to know the bands to find the bands in Australia, which is uh, why I started this reaction channel in the first place, to find new bands, and Lord of the Lost was one of them, lo and behold. Um, I am really proud of them, uh, and I they look like they just had the best time of their lives, and they've released a new song. Uh, just judging off the thumbnail, it looks like it's going to be kind of like tour highlights. I don't know if it's going to include any of the Eurovision stuff, be cool if it did but let's see the curtain falls let's get to it all right we're going to jump straight into this one today i don't want to waste a lot of time because i didn't realize until just then that this actually came out four days ago i only got the alert when i woke up on my phone this morning i have been busy no excuse though because i like to try and jump on the little lost video as soon as i can especially when it's a new song that i haven't heard at all so uh clocking in at just under three minutes i don't know maybe next year's eurovision entry uh let's give it a listen I really like the synthesizer there. When you come undone with an open mind and soul, it's home a part of something you don't know. The nights come on, the days you belong, and the thousand hearts are turned into one, and you know you will go. Oh, well, life is beautiful. When the curtain falls I'm going to have to stop it there because we're already a minute into it and I haven't found a point to stop it. This song has big, fun energy, very um, uplifting in spirit, kind of felt like bopping along. Even when the screams come in, it's still like, yeah, pumping the fist. It's got a very uh, live summer festival energy. You play it, you feel good, you got a beer in your hand or whatever. Uh, it's a good time. Um, I'm assuming a lot of the footage from this had to have come from um, the Maiden Tour. Or some of the festivals they've played over the last 12 months. I'm not sure. Um, just judging off the crowd size. Um, good song. Surprised it wasn't on the album, but let's keep listening. You were on the run. Tried to hide for far too long. I just want to say something. Listen to it carefully. The bass guitar really shines through in the mix on this song. I really like it. When the curtain falls, Like this, you can get into the circle pit in this bit. When the curtain falls, you're not alone. When darkness calls, welcome home. When the curtain falls. Sorry, I'm I'm still bopping along even though I've paused the song. Um I think I blew out my eardrums. I accidentally just slid the volume up to 100. That's why I started shouting a second ago. So I apologize for that. Um, 
I really like the double bass. There's not a lot of double bass in all of the Lost songs, so when it comes through, uh, it's really special. Like, yeah, I, don't get me wrong, I know Morgana's got a shit ton of it, uh, but I really like that. I've got an opinion on this song, but I'll save it for the end. We're nearly there. That was really, really cool. I really, really enjoyed that. Let's let's get a nice frame frame so it's not a black screen. Like I said, I have an opinion on this song and what I thought about it. It was very good. The ending, like at a live show with the drums and everything like that, it felt like it was written to play live. So it'll be interesting to see if they start adding this to their set list because I reckon that'd go hard live. Very, very good. The opinion I had on it, and it's not negative at all. It's the same reason a lot of people went, why wasn't Lost? The Linkin Park song on Meteora, it is so good. There was an interview with Mike and he talked about it. He goes, we really did like the song, got mixed, mastered, everything. The only problem they had was Numb was also on that album and that, out, that those songs kind of had the same message. So they didn't want to include both. It's interesting that it took, you know, 20 years later from to finally release it. I'm glad Lord of Lost haven't. They've done it on the special edition of the album. This is what I'm getting to. One last song and the curtain falls. I think while the energy is different, almost kind of have that same message. It's like the show closer song. Uh, one last song is just, if I could have one last song. Um, it's just a beautiful song and it felt like it was meant to be shared with the whole audience. Uh, it's like the fans, Slaughter the Lost, it's like our song. Like it's our song to sing along to. It's our feelings on the band. It's how they feel as well. And I feel this song kind of had the same energy. I could be completely 100% off in this assessment. That is just what I thought while listening to it. I think having all the live footage kind of added to that as well, but yeah, that's the message I'm getting. Let me know if you think Jai, you're fucking crazy. You're completely off. It's just a killer track and they were always saving it for the bonus edition of the album, uh, which I believe has another four or five songs I've got to listen to. So hell yeah, I've got something to do today. Uh, but it was, um, that was very good. That was very, very good. I'm, I'm still surprised it wasn't on the main album, but I reckon that was strategically done. Very, very good, guys. Once again, I am very proud of you and all the Eurovision accomplishments. I cannot wait. It is less than three months and I get to see you at Vakken. And I know I'll see you at Vakken because you're my number one pick and I don't care who clashes with you. Uh, so I hope no one else I really want to see does, but you're my number one priority. I cannot wait. It's going to be a long-ass flight. It's going to be worth it. And seeing this gets me more pumped for it because the crowd was just so energetic and fun and they look like they're having the best time i can't wait to share that experience you're probably sick of listening to me now uh like i said you've probably seen some of my other videos suggest some bands that are playing back and you think i would like or you really like or you're going to check out or you wish you could check out if you're going and i'll do some reactions uh i was a bit busy this week so i was a little quiet i'm sorry but uh back into the swing of it back into the swing of it i'm going to try and get as many out as i can there's a lot of bands playing and not a lot of time but uh Let's see if I can crack that 40 to 50 reactions for bands playing back and that I said I was going to try. It's going to be close. But anyway, I've been Joe Mungie. I hope you all enjoyed that as much as I did. And you all have a good one.